Joining me at Booth and Crescent is Hereford captain Jared Hodgkiss. What a performance from the team tonight. Very good. Um, every single man was very good, even the lads that come off the bench. Um, Tommy gave us a little bit of control in midfield in the second half, which we needed. Um, so, yeah, the lads are buzzing in there. And you stung York, didn't you, early in the game? That really seemed to rattle them. Yeah, we did. Uh, Gals did a bit of a masterclass, I suppose, by changing the formation. We went 4-4-1-1 or 4-4-2, and I don't think they could really live with us. I don't want to be disrespectful to them because they're top of the league. They're, they're there for a reason. Um, but just today, they couldn't live with us. I don't think they were expecting Hereford to play that style of play, if you know what I mean. The pattern of play was good. Yeah, and it's funny because I said in, in the dressing room after, we wasn't that overjoyed because we know what we're capable of. I know we need to show it more often than what we have done, but... We, we, it was a great performance and I'm glad that the fans that travelled got to see that it's a shame it wasn't at home obviously um, but I'm glad the fans that travelled got to see how good we were tonight and Linnell John Lewis up top he seemed to lead the line and they, they didn't have an answer for him he was great he led the line on his own uh, against two centre halves and deserved his goals and he's been an absolute asset since he's come into the football club but um, Josh Gowling and Steve Bird they do seem to have changed the motivation the attitude seems to be a lot more confident you know more free spirit yeah because Gals wants us to play football and just go and express ourselves. Obviously, from a structure as well, which you obviously need, especially coming to places like this. Um, so the lads have took it on board, and we've well, we've reaped the rewards tonight anyway. We just need to back it up now on Saturday. Yeah, so I was going to say, is it a question of being able to make sure that you keep this going now against maybe a team that aren't as so open as York were? Yeah, and I sometimes think... It's easier to motivate yourself against someone like York, a big club, and obviously coming here away and the fans and stuff. So I sometimes think that, yeah, it's easy to motivate yourselves, but on Saturday, you're completely different. So the boys have got to find it within themselves and girls have got to find it within us to, to motivate us and get us right for, for the game on Saturday and to go and get a result. It might sound strange, but has Josh Gowling given you a target to perhaps end up the season in the top half of the table? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> that stays in the dressing room. Unless he's already come out and said what he, what he needs to say, I'm not going to disclose that with you. But obviously he's giving you sales individual as well as collective targets. Yeah, of course, because you want, every player wants to strive to get better and we want to get better as a team. Um, so there is targets there, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. It's a question now of maintaining this as so a momentum into the next... Uh, crucial away games there's still points to be won on the board um, and, and make other teams look look at Hereford and say we don't really fancy playing them now I think it's been like that for a couple of weeks really since Gals has took the job I think we've done really well I know the results haven't been great I think performances have been really good though and um, I think yeah teams won't fancy playing us towards the end of the season especially if especially if they're fighting for something if they're fighting for playoffs or fighting to stay up well not stay up supposedly really um, but if they're fighting for playoffs then I think they won't really fancy playing us Message for Martin Riley How, how's his shoulder? It's not great um, it's popped out again but he's a soldier and he carried on and he was great today um, so fair play to him he's got a big heart Martin Riley has So do you think he might be a question mark obviously for the weekend? I couldn't tell you I haven't got a clue on that performance, I hope not. <laughs> I think he'll be fine. Hopefully, he'll be fine. Obviously, he's been heavily strapped up, and, and as you say, a battle of will to make sure he finished the ninety minutes. Yeah, and sometimes adrenaline gets you through. So, can we get him some adrenaline for Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't. I honestly don't know. Well, well done tonight. A terrific performance all round. Thank you very much. Cheers. Was it a case of scoring goals at the right time tonight? Because we really stunned them at each of the goals when it came. They stunned York. Yeah. We had a bit, of, a bit of luck tonight as well, which we haven't had in the past few weeks either. But, yeah, we scored at the right times. Um, I felt fairly comfortable as well. Even when we scored the third goal, I, I was quite comfortable, really. They had a, I think they had a cross in the first five minutes of the second half. But apart from that, like, I was, yeah, all the lads said in there as well, we was fairly comfortable. And this place was silent, wasn't it, for most of the second half, and them shooting towards our fans as well. Just... Yeah, that was that was that was Gals and Steve Burr as well said if I won the toss to switch it round, so they're not shooting into their fans. A bit like at home for us on Saturday, um, so that worked as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was good to see some of their fans walking out with about 20 minutes to go. I think that <laughs> I told us a lot. <laughs> I didn't notice that, but that is nice to hear, yeah. Okay. All right.